Hello, my name is Will Brooks and my mission is to make coding fun and easy to learn. In this video, we will learn four ways to use the comment tag. Number one, how to write single line comments. Number two, how to write multi-line comments. Number three, how to comment out a line of code, which means to hide a line of code. And number four, how to write comments in CSS. Let's jump right in. Okay, we are going to add a single line comment above the H1 tag just above line 13 and I'm going to start right here on line 11 and I'm going to do the less than sign exclamation point and we're going to do dash dash a space and I'm going to put here maybe change maybe change the font to Nocifer space dash dash and then greater than sign okay Four important points here. Number one, notice how the line gets grayed out. That is what should happen, and the comment will not get displayed in the browser. Let's hit run here, and it's not there. Perfect. Number two, add less than sign, exclamation point, and two dashes at the beginning of the tag. Not three dashes, but only two. Number three, you cannot leave a space between the less than sign and the exclamation point. So if I jump right in here and put a space right there, you notice that? And if I run it, you were going to see it at the top there on the top right on the white screen. So I'm going to backspace and let's go back and close that. Perfect. Okay. And number four, I always leave a space before I start typing the comment and one space after I finish the comment. That's not necessary, but I think it makes it easier to read. Let's add a multi-line comment next. We're going to do that under the H2 tag there on line 22. And let's start. I'm going to do the less than sign exclamation point dash dash then I'm going to hit return and I'm going to just type in we might want to add a picture at this point but not sure which one would be best okay we'll end it right there return and then I'm going to do dash dash and greater than sign Okay, let's see here. We have two important points here. Number one, the single line comment and the multi-line comment use the same comment tag format. And number two, I like to start the comment on the next line and then put the closing two dashes and greater than sign on a separate line. That It's not necessary, but I think it makes it the comment easier to read. It's almost like a comment sandwich between tw line 22 and line 24. And if I hit run, it's grayed out. It's not going to show. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to comment out a line of code. We call it comment out. And that's going to be very easy. I'll show you how we do that. We're going to go to line 17 here, right above the H2 tag. We're going to comment out we are capable of doing more than we think. And all we do is do the less than sign, exclamation point, dash, dash. And then I'm going to go underneath here, and I'm going to hit return and go to line 21, and then dash, dash, greater than sign. Okay, and let's run it, and then we see that the, the code is gone on the right side. So, important point number one, this one of one point, we wrap a comment tag around the code. It's very similar to the multi-line comment tag, same, same concept right there. The last comment tag we will look at is in CSS. Let's go to our CSS style sheet. Perfect, okay. Now this is really simple. All we're gonna do is forward slash, oh, you can see that there. We're gonna do forward slash, star and then type in our comment let's see maybe change the font the font color in h1 to red and then space and then we do star and then forward slash and hit return return okay just one point here we use forward slash and then star, or you can call it the multiplication sign if you prefer. And then when we close this tag in CSS, we end it with a star and then forward slash. Very simple. Well, that brings us to the end of our video. Please feel free to leave a comment tag. Not a comment tag because I won't be able to see it. Please feel free to leave a comment. And remember to like and subscribe below. See you in the next video.